Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Dolores Jones, your comeback coach. How you doing? Listen, here's the message for you. I want you to grab hold of it and I want you to hold on to it like your life depends upon it because it does. Today's concept, today's message is it's going to be big. God's about to blow your mind. So I got the big hair. I don't care. I'm repping my Shaka Khan, uh, Diana Ross type of look. This is my new season. So there's a song out there and it's called Big, B-I-G. And the lyric says, uh, God is about to open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing, right? And it's going to be big. And the, the repetition is, God is about to blow my mind. And I love it. And, and it talks about for God is working miracles. Now, the beautiful thing about things being big, God talks about your latter day. That means after this will be greater than your past. But this is how you have to grab hold of this, because here's the secret to this. Are you ready? Say, Dolores, I'm ready. Okay. The secret is what we want shows up in our conversation, but what we expect shows up in our behavior. So if you know that it's going to be big, then you need to make room for what is coming into your life. You have to get up and get ready. And I know, I know, but Dolores is hard. No, it's really not as hard as you think, because here's the thing. A lot of people will respond and react to bad stuff. They'll go into depression. They'll start crying. You know, some people check on up out of here because their expectation is it's not going to get better. It's not going to get better. Thank you, love. It's not going to get better. But if you know that it's about to be big and God's about to blow your mind, first of all, the beauty of that is God is unstoppable. He is undefeatable. He's un, he is, what's the word? Listen, you can't live with him. You know, you can't live without him because you know too much about it. Hey, beautiful, right back at you. It's about to be big. God's about to blow your mind. Now you hear people say, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard what God has in store for those who love him. But you got to be in position through your conversation. Remember, whatever you are expecting to happen is going to show up in your behavior. If you're sitting around looking like you ain't got no friends, if you're sitting around stealing your sleep clothes or your grave clothes, we already know what you're going to do. You show up at a job interview, you didn't do your hair, you didn't get yourself together. We know you're not expecting that job because expectation shows up in behavior and you have a date with destiny. I'm Dolores Jones, your comeback coach. Thank you for watching me here on YouTube. Hit that button right there, bam, and hit the notification button. Then tell your friends and everybody to come on over to Dolores Jones TV. For my Facebook followers, y'all been with me since day one. Boom, you know I'm never gonna forget you. So click, tag, and share. And for those of you who took some time and said, you know what, I want to bless this sister. And you sent your, your, your donation or your contribution, however you want to say it, I'm sure it's tax deductible. You sent it to my cash app, which is dollar sign, my comeback coach, or PayPal, Dolores Inspires Me at yahoo.com. So I'm super excited because it's about to be big. God's about to blow your mind. But you have to expect that. If you're sitting around talking to people, oh, it's getting bad. It's, I know. I don't care what's going on in the White House right now. I got to focus on what's going on in my house because regardless of who gets in the White House, God is still going to be in my house. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Okay. Now, I'm not telling you who to vote for, but you better think about it. You better think, <laughs> think about what I'm trying to do to me. You better vote November 3rd. Boom. No excuses. It's about to be big. B-I-G. Believe in God. Now, what's interesting to me is we tend to, there are a lot of people that we admire 
we admire their swag like DJ Spanky can get down with the get down okay that's his gift and we have people we admire like a Denzel Washington uh, you name the person but that person had to believe enough in themselves and their skills and abilities to move forward now the word talks about don't put your confidence in any man I don't care how fine your boo thing is or how your girlfriend is don't put your confidence in them why because people we can be fickle I already know I could be a trip y'all I don't want to tell you but I'm gonna tell you I can be a trip I can be two handfuls not a handful but but two handfuls right because you all you, it just depends on what's going on sometimes you ask for something you want and then you don't want what you got come on that's a whole nother story right there about to make it rain up in here but each of those people from a Michael Jordan you know he was constantly doing his thing but let's think about this he wasn't winning any championships until they combined him with Scottie Pippen and they put some more players on there so just because you're amazing and it's about to be big you got to make sure you have the right support team around you therefore when somebody's in your face trying to give you conversation and it doesn't add up you got to cut them you got to cut them because it's about to be big you don't have time to be around small-minded people now I had this epiphany the other day because when your life begins to change your whole relationship begins to change the people that you used to be around and the things you used to talk about when you're going to a completely different level the conversation changes why because the focus changes so I was over on my LinkedIn uh, profile which I had been over there for a while and when I went over to LinkedIn I realized that the friends and, and the people who are my friends they're about their business so their conversation is going to be different and I was like Dolores you need to get your butt over here on LinkedIn okay I don't know what all you doing you can do Facebook you can do YouTube but you better get your butt over here in LinkedIn because that's what's going on and I just think about the people and the conversations that we have so when it's about to be big your conversation is different now I'm not telling you to go out there and nab, blab it and all this other stuff because everybody can't handle it some people are secretly jealous of you why because they feel like their life isn't working out they may feel like there's nothing they can do woe is me and see sometimes that envious spirit tries to grab hold of me I'll be mean, loose me devil in the name of Jesus because chances are when you slacking and then you're looking at other people's stuff now you got an attitude but are you giving the same amount of effort to what it is you say you want or are you laying up under the cover see I used to have a be in the bed under the covers ministry I sure did I'm like designing. Mm -mm. Let me tell y'all. Y'all know I was in the hospital twice in less than two weeks. Yes, I had COVID-19. God healed me from that. Next thing you know, I took an antibiotic. And listen, I was sitting there in pain. I had a headache from one o'clock to 11 o'clock. And y'all know, black folk, we try to tough it out. And I'm like, Lord, I'm just going to tough it out. I, should I go to the emergency room? Should I tough it out? Should I go to the emergency room? It's like, take your tail to the emergency room. And I am so glad because they found out that I had a very, very bladder infection. And had they not caught it, I was going into a sepsis situation. That's where that stuff gets in your bloodstream and it will kill you. In fact, sepsis kills more people than lung cancer and breast cancers and heart attacks. Did you know that? All right, now you better pay attention. And did you know this? Now, this is free. Oh, this is free because it's about to be big. These hospitals have, have endowments to pay for people who don't have insurance. And if you have COVID, get your butt in the hospital don't worry about how it's gonna be paid it's about to be big but like my friend Bruce Walker said I said I gotta get my goals together he said you ain't got no goals if you gone <laughs> he was telling the truth put yourself first it's about to be big big in your finances big in your 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 love you know totally different attitude when people say to you you've changed that's a good thing do they expect you to stay the same hello do they 
you need another set of friends. If I saw you back 25 years ago and you still doing the same thing from 25 years ago, like if you don't let that Jerry Curl go, we're going to have a problem. We just going to listen. Got to let it go. It's a TKO. You got to let it go. If you still doing the same thing 25 years from now and I'm your friend, right? And I don't say, baby, girl, come on. You can, you can do better. Then I'm really not your friend. Now, listen, you got to be very careful when you accept, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, feedback from people because some people can be very harsh and, and, and if that's not, you, you can't handle it. I'd be like, Jesus, I, don't come talking to me crazy. Don't come talking to me crazy. Don't come talking to me crazy. So you got to know who's in your corner and who's trying to cut you off. It's about to be big. Now, listen, I told a young woman one time I was coaching her. I said, sweetheart, you, you trying to drive when it comes to your dreams, you trying to drive around a SUV and God wants you in a two seater. It's just him and you. Okay. Cause sometimes you don't have time to have these asinine conversations with people. Oh, well you tried it before and you think it's going to work this time. You're looking like, I don't know. Or actually you do know. Okay. You do know, but should I tell them? No, you don't have to tell anybody anything. Ladies, sometimes we do talk too much. Okay. We do. We talk too much. We talk too much. It happens. It happened. You all right with me, DJ Spanky? Uh, next next Thursday, your girl turns 50. Won't he do it? He's done it before and he'll do it again. It's about to be big. So go get your big hair. <laughs> ooh, 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 get your new attitude. What time is it? I got seven minutes and I got to go do another commercial. See, God is amazing. Is he amazing? Won't you put that in there? He's amazing. He's amazing. And it's about to be big. So talk about where you're going. But then you got to walk it out. Y'all remember that dance, walk it out. You got to walk it out. You got to know what direction you are going. Some people are going nowhere fast, like a gerbil. Just, just going, going, going. Poor gerbil, poor gerbil. The gerbil don't know. It can just jump off the wheel and just keep on going. And some of y'all need to just jump off the wheel. Some of y'all need to just jump off the wheel. Because right now about 85% of Americans hate their jobs. Are you one of them? And what's your excuse? Huh? What's your excuse? Like my friend said, he said, excuses are sophisticated lies that we tell ourselves and then we try to sell them to somebody else. Come on. Or Marquita Miller, she said, no more excuses, only results. It's about to be big, but it has to happen in your mindset first. I often tell you, wherever your mind is, your behind is going to follow. Sometimes we're in those pit stops you know, maybe you got to get on food stamps. And I'm not telling you something that I read about. I'm telling you about something I have lived. And in fact, I still have my food stamp card. Why? Because I'm a taxpayer and I paid into those entitlement programs. You better get off. You know, get listen. You better go get your food stamp. Students, if you working 20 hours a week, go get your food stamps. And nowadays they're just giving the food stamps to people because people don't have money right now. Go get your food stamps and stop trying to be all hotty, hotty, hotty. Because while God is making it big, sometimes he tests you to see, are you, you know, are you willing to appreciate everything he does? Or are you like, uh-uh, I don't, uh-uh, I, she don't do that. She don't do that. Haven't you learned by now with looking at what's going on in the world? That you can plan all day, baby, and something could happen and wipe all your savings out. That's why it's about relationship. The relationship with divine, because he is the manufacturer. Now, people sometimes be like, I ain't trying to hear all that. Well, this ain't for you, honey. This ain't for you. But just stick around. You might be converted. And what I mean by converted is in your faith and your understanding. It's about to be big. Put on your favorite song. Now, there are times you may feel like, oh, I don't. Okay, I'll give you that for about five minutes. Not five years. And as quiet as it's kept, some people won't declare that it's about to be big 
because somebody else told you something else. Think about that. Have you ever just been minding your own business? And then all of a sudden you hear something that somebody said to you back in your past. It's kind of like that saying, I see dead people. And see, some of y'all still see dead people. In fact, some of y'all still hear dead people. Your dead grandma, your dead uncle, that dead person, dead weight, just hanging on. You know they have to bury people and embalm them. Why? Because rigor mortis will set in. And I don't know if you've never smelled a dead body, baby. Thank the Lord for that. You got options today. Somebody type in there. Thank God for options. You got options. That means just because it was done one way that day doesn't mean it has to be done the same way. You have options and you do have a brain. Come through Michael, jo- Michael Jackson and, and Wiz. If I only had a brain. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I'm staying on track, y'all. I'm staying on track. How many more minutes do we got? All right, I got five minutes, just five minutes. I want to encourage you today. It's about to be big. So do something different. Change your hair, change your attitude, change your clothes. Sometimes you have to change relationships. You know why? Because not everybody can see it for you. And they're not supposed to. It is not their calling. It's God's calling upon you. And let's just be honest, we play small. Why? Because it's comfortable. It's kind of like you go in some place, you go, can they see me? Can they see me? They can't see me. Can they can see? We can see you. And stop trying to shrink. I used to do that, believe it or not. The Lord's come on in. I don't want to go in because I don't I don't want nobody to, you know, say nothing to me. I just Dolores, you got a big personality. I I well, I mean they may be thinking, they be think you you can't control what they think. That's right. Thank God for options, Donna. Thanks. Thank God for options, Foxy. You got options. Do you know that? Why would you sit in the same place with the same pitiful story, drinking the same pitiful punch, trying to tell that story that half the people don't care and the other half are glad it's you? Why? Because everybody's going through something. But if you're going to go through the furnace, baby, you might as well come out on fire. Hello. That's right. It's about to be big. Write it down. Why? Because when you write it down, it's like your hand is a recorder to your mind. When I use uh, uh, vision boards, vision boards are pictures and you can pull words. Basically, it's saying this is what I want. This is where I'm going. This is what I want. And back in 2007, I did my very first vision board. I did two of them. I did one for my relationship with my son because I was a single mom and I just wanted to surround us with love and I wanted to be the very best I could be. And then the other was about my business. And I put millionaire on there and I had this white convertible with a a burnt orange interior. Isn't that something? And I had a picture of my my business card next to Oprah Winfrey. And people were like, how did you get on Oprah? And I had all kind of words around it, all kind of words. And so when I got the call from the Oprah Winfrey show, I was like, what? That stuff works. Why? Because you have a reticular activating system. R-A-S. That means whatever you put in front of you, whatever you say is important to you, that's what's going to come to mind. When you bought that car that you said you just had to have because nobody in your, your neighborhood had that car, so you thought. And as soon as you got on the street, you start seeing the same car. Why? Because your reticular activating system has sorted it out and said, beep, 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 this is important to you. Beep, 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 this is important to you. But it doesn't happen overnight. Oprah didn't just pick me up out of some place. I remember saying, it's about to be big. So when I lived in that home with no water and lights and I went to that college and I bathed in the bathroom and I just I was always in Bible study. I was always fine tuning my relationship with God because they said that he is the greatest. So why would I want to sit around looking at somebody called wimpy, wimpy, wimpy? No. And then there was a call out. They were looking for people to talk about their stories. So your story is where it's at. 
Your story is where it's at. Corey Fox knows that. I wasn't even trying to rhyme, Corey, but Corey has an amazing story. Your story is where it's at. Why? Because people need hope. So if they can see you doing it and they can connect with you, then something in them says, I can do that too. I can? Yes. You are your only limitation. Whatever you're telling yourself. And I'm not, I'm not fussing. I'm telling you what I've had to work through as your comeback coach. I've had to work through this. Sitting around, Dolores, why you can't pay your bills? Girl, don't you know who you are? Well, yeah, but I just, I just, I just, I just. And get all that knowledge. But if you never believe in yourself, if you never believe in yourself, you got to believe in yourself. Come through Diana Ross and the, and the witch, okay? You got to believe in yourself. That's what separates the great from the ordinary. Look on Facebook. Look at all these social medias. You got people blowing up on social media, right? They got YouTube channels making hundreds upon thousands of dollars. And you're like, who is watching this? foolishness anybody that goes and finds a person because a person apparently felt like they had something to offer so they went out there they didn't care what it looked like they put it out there they even have these videos where people are doing something called muck suck or something and that's where they're eating food and having a conversation or sometimes they're eating food and they're not saying anything and people watch this stuff why because they believe they have something to offer and so do you so do you. It's about to be big. God's about to blow your mind, but you got to participate. You got to participate. You got to be in position. If you know that your business is about to do what it has to do, then you need to get your butt up. You need to get that suitcase, however you want to get your business cards. Damon Dash, when he first started, is that the one, Damon, Damon Dash or the, Damon, the one on uh, Shark Tank. His mama would take him to business meetings. His lunchbox was his, <laughs> was his suitcase. And he made his own business card out of pieces of cardboard. The young man knew it's about to be big. It's about to be big. I have got to go, but put a pin right there. Dolores Jones is my name, your comeback coach. I simply want to see you move beyond labels, limitations, and low self-esteem. Okay? Take the limits off. You got work to do. You have a date with destiny. That means you have a destination, and you don't have enough time to just be spending it with anybody, just sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the clouds roll away. Otis Redding had that down, okay, and he done went on to be with the Lord. Let it go. Go ahead, make sure you hit the notification button here on my YouTube channel, Dolores Jones TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you that have subscribed. Subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button because you can join me live or whenever I have some new information out there for you. Facebook, Wakanda forever, baby. We started together. We're going to rise. We're going to rise as a people. I appreciate you. Thank you for your support at my, uh, what is it, Cash App? dollar sign my comeback coach or paypal dolores jones inspires me it's about to be big are you ready are you ready remember that song get big get big every time i win 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 no matter what you got to believe that okay and and your hands go up and they stay there and they stay there and they stay there because every time I win 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 what don't make me go straight into my gangster don't make me go straight into my gangster all right I feel Luda in my sphere right now Luda Luda <laughs> I'll see y'all later Mwah.